there are new additions to your family, and I want to hear their names. There are. And where you <laughs> there, we got two golden retriever horses. Uh -huh. um, they are they're three to four times the size now, and they're they're pretty. They're not very bright. No. <laughs> They're really not. I love them dearly, but it's like living with models. They're super pretty. <laughs> but they're not, they're not that smart. And you know what? They don't have to be, because everybody just gives them things because they're pretty. Yeah. So it's like, it, they'll never come out of that cycle. They just, they literally will go up into the yard and like catch a breeze. And I will look out and I'm like, my God, it's like they found a wind machine. Uh, and like their hair is blowing. I'm like, they know where to find like their light and the wind. I'm like, <laughs> But then they'll like run into walls and I'm like, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> but they're cute. Yeah. And do you have, have you made the mistake of throwing a ball yet? Because you should never start that with those oh, dogs. The ha they also, yeah. And they make noises when they get something in their mouth. They don't do it when they don't have something. But the second you give them a toy, they're like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and it's panic. It's like caught in a bear trap zone. <laughs> That's hilarious. And it's like an on and off switch. Yeah. I mean, I have done it where I'm like, ah. <laughs> it's the most frantic. What are their names? Sorry about the sound person must love that. Homer and Harper. And oh. they don't know. They don't they don't know their name. They don't know. <laughs> they have no idea. We call them like bubbles and like habisham and they just are like <laughs> they have, I've never met dogs that like do not know their names at all. It's kind of fascinating. It's hilarious. All right. Uh, no one's going to be <laughs> getting a golden retriever after this. No, um, but they're sweet. All they're right, so but they're sweet. pretty, yes. We're back with Melissa McCarthy in the new movie, Life of the Party. It's a great concept. It really, you and your husband, Ben, wrote it, we right? Did. We directed did. it, starred he in it. He directed catering, it, everything, catering, all of it. Um, dog wrangling, mm -hmm. everything. There was a dog. So tell it. everyone what it's about. It's a great idea. It is. I, I, uh, we're, we're taking our daughter to college. It's like the first time she's going away. Way, which I can't even imagine. And um, on the way out, we're, we're kind of like, here we go. Empty nest, we're gonna take trips, we're gonna do all these beautiful things. And then my husband, you know, like she, I'm, my character is very excited about the possibilities. And my husband immediately says, I want a divorce. And I'm, I know, <laughs> right? And she's crushed by it because she's devoted kind of everything in. And she's, her one regret, she doesn't regret being a mom or a wife, but she regretted not finishing school. And when she kind of pulls herself, uh, my best friend in the movie is Maya. Oh, Molly, look. Um, my best friend's Maya Rudolph in it and kind of helps me like pick myself up, who's Maya is uh, a dream. And I go back to college, and I go back to college at the same school as my daughter. <laughs> and it's, and it, which I keep telling my kids, I'm like, won't that be fun when we go to college together? Um, but it's really sweet and, and hopeful, and I just, I always love that concept of like, it is never too late to, to do anything. It's never too late to, to change and, and, and accomplish anything. And, and like I said, it's a great idea because, you, you know, it's a horrible thing that all of a sudden this man just decides, I want a divorce right when you're, but you never, she never would have gone back to school had that horrible thing. Yeah. You have to look at like all that I, life yeah, gives I you. I think she reevaluates like what, was it that good? Was it that happy? Or, or can I be even happier and like accomplish something that I'm really proud of? So it's a, it's a really, um, there's a lot of joy in the movie and it was yeah. fun to make. And you're working with your husband again. And is, that's always fun. He's that's hilarious. That's always fun. Okay, so let's take a look at, uh, and what was it like <laughs> making out with a, a handsome guy with your husband directing? Like did he? Profe did he professionally speaking, Luke, uh, he, Luke is amazing. We meet and kind of hit it off and end up uh, in a relationship. Um, we may end up, there's some making out in a library stack, and that scene was, we've shot that scene on our 11th wedding anniversary <laughs> for Ben and I, <laughs> on the day, and uh, which I thought, thanks, Ben. Uh, so he was weirdly yelling out things like, can you grab his butt in the next take? And I was like, yes, professionally. <laughs> professionally speaking, I can, and it was, it was, crazy and funny and Luke just kept going, happy anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, God!